And checking out again some of the views around the area for one of our cameras here at the Westview Promenade. You can see just that pile of snow they have in the parking lot there. But notice how we've been able to see some pavement here this afternoon. A lot of the crews on the main roadways, parking lots, sidewalks have been able to get those cleared off now that we have some sunshine and we've had pretty quiet conditions throughout much of the day today. And that is definitely beneficial. And I saw a lot of folks clearing out their driveways and sidewalks. Walks. Here's a look at some of the updated totals. Again, we continue to collect these snowfall totals in throughout the day as we progress along. Here's a look through Maryland. Again, you have areas like Frostburg and over toward McHenry and Garrett County that did pick up upwards of 10 inches of snowfall where that sleet didn't mix in as much, but other areas did mix in a good bit of sleet there, and that did lower our total some. Sharpsburg still pick up, picked up 9.4, halfway 8 inches, New Market 6.8, and as you drifted down into Montgomery County, like Damascus, those totals were a little bit lower, and that included much of Virginia. That sleet mixed in pretty much everywhere, even in Winchester, where we almost got to 10 inches total. Front Royal hit 8 inches, Gainesboro 9.5, and, and then as you drifted over toward Leesburg and Chantilly, again, those totals were a lot lower on the order of 2 to 5 inches, where that sleet was a lot more prominent and then through Pennsylvania and West Virginia. Again, it was all snowfall through parts of southern PA, hence the totals that were just over a foot of snow. Greencastle got eight inches. And then as you went into West Virginia, Martinsburg 10.4, Charlestown 9.1 and Falling Waters 8. Point seven. So a decent event, no doubt about it. Most locations between that 7 to 10 inch mark and temperatures out there still support that snow sticking around a bit. We're right near freezing as we roll through the rest of this afternoon here. And the last of that storm system finally is heading off of the northeastern coastline. Quite the impressive snowfall amounts across the entire mid-Atlantic and northeast, but nothing compares to up in New York. They got 41 inches of snowfall in Binghamton under a very very intense band, so we did not get the heaviest snowfall that definitely stayed to our north. So we have prime conditions the rest of the day to clean off the rest of the snow that's out there. Not expecting any major temperature swings into the weekend. We are going to be warming up a little bit into the 40s, so that will help melt a little bit of the snow, but not get rid of all of it. And then we're expecting a rather quiet pattern for now. But as we near Christmas, we'll have to keep an eye out for that next storm system. Check it out here today. The rest of the day we're talking about fairly clear skies. Could see a few flakes over the mountains, but generally speaking, we're just going to be quiet. Cloud build back in overnight for a brief time and then with high pressure sliding back overhead tomorrow we're looking at a lot more sunshine even more than we have out there today as we roll into the weekend again on a very very quiet note and much of the weekend is also going to be on the quiet side of things we'll have some minor disturbances nearby that could create a few spotty showers but that would be about it and like I said as we get to the middle of next week close to Christmas keep an eye out that is likely when we have our next storm system approaching.